Hey guys, in this video we have a $334 a day chat and email work from home job hiring now. It's at a company called hospitable.com which is a vacation rental management software company. They have a customer support advocate available right now in the Americas so you should be able to apply in North and South America. Fully remote of course. You don't need to pay attention to the Spokane, Washington location there. You'll have lots of different time zones you can apply from. And for this particular job, you will be onboarding customers on the product throughout the entire user cycle with live chat and email. Create video and written content to educate customers, investigate and troubleshoot issues, act as a feature champion to educate people about the product and answer inquiries via live chat, maybe occasional Zoom calls as well. They say you might be doing phone support in the future, but you're not right now. As far as what the schedule looks like, they're looking for people who, they say the Americas at the top here, but this one says North American time zones, Pacific Standard Time, Central Domestic Time, I guess that's what that means, uh, Mountain Time maybe, Eastern Standard Time, and then currently the role is Monday through Friday. You may be asked to work Saturdays or Sunday occasionally, like four hours, and then requirements for this particular job is they can pretty much be anywhere in the United States. Candidates in countries outside the United States will not be, a region will be considered. And I think you can apply from Canada, maybe Mexico as well, the way they word this. It kind of seems that way. They say, for example, based anywhere in the USA, but North American time zone. So they want you to care about the impact that your work has on the team and the company. Two to three years of hands-on experience working with B2B or B2C software as a service and attention to detail, of course. And if you are an Airbnb host or have been working with a short-term rental business, that would be great, but not required. Benefits of supportive and caring team environment, competitive compensation, which they say is up to $87,000 a year. And they want to offer options into the company equity through the uh, dollar host token or host token, however you say that. When this can be implemented, there would be a grant contemplated for this position. Up to 35 days off per year encouraged mental health and emotional support benefits as well. As far as what it's like to work here, they have 13 reviews. They have a 4.7 out of 5 star rating. 91% recommend working here to a friend, so the employees seem to like it here. Interview-wise, they have a 2.7 out of 5 difficulty rating. 63% had a positive experience interviewing here. And some of the interview questions that you may be asked specifically for customer support could include, what do you like about your current job and that you'd like to find here? Describe a time you calmed down an angry customer. What is your customer service superpower? And it, if you would join a mortal battle, what would be your biggest weakness. I don't know where that last one came from, but somebody who interviewed for customer support got asked that in their interview with Hospitable. Another one to check out is at Agency Analytics. You can go to agencyanalytics.com. You'll end up on a page that looks like this. And then you're looking for the customer support specialist position here. And Agency Analytics, if you're not familiar with them, is a reporting platform that helps digital agencies automate their client reporting. So for this one, your key responsibilities would be to deliver live chat customer support. Use expert problem solving ability and resourcefulness to provide users with the answers they need. You'll troubleshoot technical issues, look to resolve issues and bugs as well. Ensure risks and opportunities are promptly acted upon and things like that. Job benefits include profit sharing, distributed quarterly, frequent promotions, four weeks of vacation and paid sick days, extended health benefits, continued education allowance, annual fitness allowance, work from anywhere in the world, which I don't think you can work from anywhere with this one, join a bootstrapped company as well. But for this one, it kind of looks like they're mostly looking for, um, or at least they say the time zone for this role business is business hours in North America. So yeah, it looks like you don't necessarily have to live in North America, but that's where they're, um, hours are going to be based on. So basically, look up the time zones, Eastern time and Pacific time. The Like if it's nine to five Eastern time, 
then that just means that, you know, whatever that is in your time, in your time zone, even if it's on the other side of the world, that's when you would be working. So they don't really seem to care as much where you are as much as what hours you work. Two plus years in a similar customer support role for software as a service is something they're looking for. Advanced written communication skills, high emotional intelligence, excellent rapport building, things like you know multitasking, moderate understanding of SEO or digital marketing is highly preferable, which is a little bit different for a customer support job. Keep that in mind. Familiarity with software as a service platforms and related technologies. Other than that, a lot of these are pretty standard. And then other than that, they are an equal opportunity employer, but pretty much every company says that, of course. And as far as what it's like to work at agency analytics, you have 22 reviews and overall a 4.5 out of 5 star rating. 80% recommend working here. As far as their benefit ratings, they have a... Well, they don't really have an overall rating yet. And then as far as uh, salaries go, I don't know if they really have this for customer support yet. Um, as far as customer support, they don't seem to have an actual estimate for that yet. But, you know, typically it's like, you know, maybe forty to 50000 a year if you're, you know, looking in the U.S., for instance, as an example. But interview-wise, 2.7 out of 5 difficulty rating. Um, not sure why so many people had negative time interviewing here, but they don't really have that many interviews. So there might've just been a few people that, um, didn't like the way they did things, but, um, overall the difficulty isn't too bad. So as far as what it's like, as far as what you might get asked here, agency analytics, interview questions, I didn't find a lot that were related to customer support, but the ones that do have to do with customer support, where what experience do you have with digital marketing and SEO and digital marketing experience? So two different people said they got asked very similar questions about SEO and marketing. So they may want you to at least have some idea of how that works. Hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or want to suggest a video for the future and I'll see you in the next video.